Okay, I think I came up with a plan that is going to work. It's going to be a little bit different than what I had before, but mostly the same. Uh, one thing, I was talking about this before that I changed, this is pretty much the only change that I did was add this. And that's because in production, I want to run this as a timer or cron job, um, in my case, task scheduler as a standalone script. And then I want to pass in, is testing false? Originally, I was thinking I'm going to call a, another script that calls this script and passes in, is testing false? But I think this is just easier. And then when I import it, and use it elsewhere, which I think I'm going to use it inside the REST server for testing um, instead of where I have it now, then I will, um, then it won't call this. It'll just call this function. Because it's just importing that function. So, and then I'll pass in is testing true. All right, so that's that. Anything else? Oh, I made a note here. Made a couple notes. Basically, the plan now is to um, have this get calculation script that runs every 15 minutes. Uh, what it's going to do is save the calculations, and in, in this case, for this example, RSI, uh, to a file or a database. Um, I mean, by file, I mean like a CSV file. I'll probably stick to file right now easier to see and troubleshoot. Maybe later on, if there's a reason to, I'll, I'll use database. Um, and then the scanner, which is here, um, is only going to be responsible for um, reading price and this file. So it's going to read from the web sockets. It says these are the price of this stock at this time. And then it's going to read from this file or database and say, okay, did it match any of these? alerts that the file that are in this file so oh yeah that's what's going to be saved to the file basically the target levels of the alerts for whatever stocks um and then scanner reads from file i'm going to use the same technique that i used before um where i'm reading uh i'm not going to read from it i'm not going to read the file every um every 15 minutes Wait, okay, calculations. Yeah, the scanner. Um, in the scanner, I'm, I'm not going to read from the file. Um, every 15 minutes, I'm going to check the modified time because it's slightly faster. And then if it's mod been modified, I will read from the file. I might change how that works if I use a database, but we'll see. Um, I could still use this technique um, if it's just a regular SQL like database um but anyways and then it does the alerts so that's that that's the uh what the scanner will do and then that's what this will do uh there's another note i put in um here i decided i was thinking should i run this um to get the data after the market closes on the same day or uh, on market open uh, for a few reasons I thought it might be easier to do after market close uh, one of them is I can if there's something going on in the morning something else going on I don't need to scramble to figure out why the data didn't come through on this I could just check it after the close if it got it um, and just it'll be ready to go for the next day uh, there's another reason I can't think of it right now but uh, and then uh, Polygon, so check Polygon data release time. Yeah, so I looked, and uh, I think this will be good. Um, I'm going to have my timer start running. Uh, I'll need to test this, but the timer is going to start running um, 15 minutes after market closes every day. And so if we look at Polygon flat files, um this says that this updates, uh, where does it say available, available end of day. So I'm assuming it's probably available very soon after close. Um, I set it a 15 minute buffer. 
Uh, and the reason I have it so close to the close and not like later on, like 4.30 or, or not 4.30, excuse me, uh, 5.30 Eastern or whatever, you know, an hour later, hour and a half later is because, uh, um, basically so I could just move on with the day when I could just check this, make sure it comes in at 3.15. If it doesn't fix it, um, and maybe adjust that. And then, um, and then just be done for the day if, if I have other stuff to do. So, um, yeah, it should be good there. And then let me check my audio really quick. Yeah, it looks good. Um, so that's it for that. The rest server already kind of worked on that yesterday. Um, I still haven't committed that, um, at, to the repository at 50 minute timer. Okay, here's another note I made. This is actually really important, I think. Um, basically, again, this is gonna run at 15 minute intervals. It's also gonna run uh, um, run to check the calculations and get the new targets, and that's gonna be saved to a file. But I need to make sure in case that file, um, two reasons, in case that file doesn't update, I don't want the old targets in there getting notified because it's it doesn't make sense um, for the new calculations. Um, every 15 minutes, you know, the calculations update. Okay, RSI is at this level, or RSI 70 is at this level, RSI 75 is at this level, whatever. Um, so yeah, every I need to erase the current targets. So basically, that'll mean set the set these to you know an empty object or whatever. Um, and then read from the file. So just as I was saying before, um, that'll fix two issues. If there's a problem with the other thing, and also, um, what is the other issue that would fix? Oh, if there's like an immediate, like, um, if there's an immediate hit, it could be the wrong one, like right after the 15 minute mark. Uh, if the calculations haven't finished and saved to the file, unfortunately, you might miss some of those, but it is what it is. Um, but if that happens, then it would uh, it, it would have read the wrong target, you know, because it didn't erase the other ones. So um, from the previous 15 minutes. So that's that. Uh, I'm sure there's a better way to do this, but that's what I've came up with so far. And then last thing to talk about is uh, I was going to have just one git calculations and have like two modes, you know, a mode for testing, a mode for uh, not testing, whatever, uh, test or production, but this is, uh, I, I'm just thinking right now, maybe I'll change this later, I'm thinking they're going to be too different, um, and it just will look weird and messy, so I just have, I'm going to have two separate scripts, one I'll actually run during testing and one I will run, uh, uh, one I'll run for production. So that's that. Um, let's first of all make this commit to clean this up a little bit. Uh, oh, last thing, notes. So I do need to make sure there's no issues with like weekends and holidays. For example, in a few in a couple days, uh, there's a holiday on Wednesday. I need to make sure there's no weird stuff where it has an issue downloading data and it doesn't account for that correctly um so i'll think about that um and then there's one other thing uh one other thing i have to think about i'm not sure how it's going to work for testing at least is um when i set the times like does everything stay in sync um this the rest server should be fine because this takes a time as an input so that's whatever um rest server i shouldn't have to think about should pretty much be done i believe we'll see um and then scanner yeah so one thing is like say i change the time um of the websocket server how's the scanner gonna know i guess the scanner is gonna have to read the config as well and update the time um yeah it's a little bit messy, but, uh, and then get calculations. That's going to run every 15 minutes. Um, that also has to know if I change the time. So it's going to be a little bit tricky, but I might just have it not to be able to change the time while these things are running, but I'll think about it. Anyways, um, let me 
commit this rest server make sure everything looks good in here good everything looks good there so far yep uh, one thing I will have to change in this of course is uh, I'm gonna call the init data from here uh, during testing and the reason for that is because um, it needs that data there's no weird timing issues where this starts and then you know like I, I start the um, other scanner and then I start the rest server afterwards and then it you know it, it it wasn't ready if something I'd already hit on the other thing stuff like that so this is gonna knit all the data I think and then uh, so I'll start the rest server and then start the um, this and it's all necessary data and then start uh, the um, I gotta check this, but I think the uh, I'm trying to think test get calculations. Um I think that would be f next start, but I want these to start at the same time, which I could write a script to do that. I think I'm going to do that. I'm going to write a script. You know what? Let's do that right now, or in a minute. You know what, I'd rather call this separately in a script, now I'm thinking about it. Yeah. Init data. I think that's how I want to do this. Instead of having the rest server, ah, it could though, because it, it does everything. Hmm. But the thing is, I want a script to start the others at the same time, basically. Run every 15 minutes. Um, let me see this. Bash script. Start to Python scripts at the same time. Mm. How about start them in order, wait for first to finish, etc. Yeah. Okay. So basically run it in the background. Um... Does the wait, so if I use the and 
with wait method and I stop the script or the bash script with control plus C does that stop both Python scripts? Okay. Capture the process ID of the first script. What? I don't understand this. Try to command this like signal. What is this? Interesting. Um, is there any way, a better way to run them at the same time? I'm trying to think a good way to synchronize these. I don't think it's going to be perfect. You know what? I'm not going to worry about synchronizing them. Um, well, let me think about this. So, REST server doesn't need to be synchronized, right, at all. Um, init scanner data does not need to be synchronized. Get calculations, because that runs every 15 minutes. That does, and scanner does, and then the WebSocket server does, or no? I think maybe scanner should call this as soon as it starts running. I'm not sure. I think I'm going to do a similar thing where the scanner actually is going to have its own timer, and then it's going to call these. It's going to call this in testing mode. Um, if not testing, then it will call. Yeah. So in that case, maybe I don't need this test. I'm going to delete this for now. 
That'll be nice. I'll use the same idea with this main thing. Yeah, I think that's what I'm going to do. Hmm. Okay. Then I could have two separate functions um, if I really need to. One that uh, is called by this part, and then one that is called by the scanner. And that way I can synchronize the scanner because it has its own timer. Um, yeah. Hmm. Okay. So there's that. Uh, rest server. Rest server can start whenever. Here, let's do this. And then the last synchronization problem. Um, start the mock rest server. Uh, start the. Um, and this is just for the sake of ease. Like I could have my. How I could have a separate script init the data, but. If the scanner, I'm sorry, if the rest server does it, and it's going to start first anyways, then it's just easier to just include it in there. And the rest server is only for testing and mock stuff anyways, so it doesn't matter if it's a little bit sloppy or messy. Um, start the scanner, and the scanner, uh, if in test mode, starts the get calculations every 15 minutes. Okay, and then we have one more synchronization problem of the WebSocket server and the scanner. Huh. That's the last one. Um, I do need to test how that works. Um, I think if you have a start time. Hold on, what is this? Start time string. Do I not have a... Oh. Yeah, I need to move this so it doesn't get overwritten above here. Oh no, that was the intention to overwrite it, right? There, right, let's uh let's move it back down here. Let's comment both these out. I just want to screw that up. I think the scanner, or this waits, not the scanner, the uh, WebSocket server waits until there's a connection. Maybe I'm wrong about that. I could do that. I could make it do that. Here, let's say wait until connection to start loop timer or whatever. Okay. I think I fixed the synchronization issue. Um, let's see. So the <gasps> scanner start the web sockets server which waits for a connection to start its timer I mean, they might be slightly out of sync but they'll be very close I think that's uh, that's the plan all right. Um, 
let's go ahead and finally commit the changes here. Now I've said that several times. Um, not going to add that. I will add this for now. Oh, I did change this to, um, this is reading this, but if it's in testing mode, it doesn't use this. So um, I had to use a get instead of just directly accessing it. Um, I kind of like some, or what I have now to not use git unless I need to for whatever reason because I kind of want to see it crash if I am trying to access something I sh should be able to and I can't. Um, you know, those are the ways to check that, but for now that's how I want to do it. Um, I should actually move this in here. Is this all that's in here? Yeah, let's move this in here and then move this back out and make sure it's formatted. Okay, and then get calculations, that's fine for now. That just has a note. Okay. I might not even have to read from a file, too. No. I kind of do. Anyways, um, what's all this? Wait, you till. What's this? Oh, okay. You till. Go. WebSocket server. Leave that for now. And notes. Um. Let's just add this to do in here. I don't want it in any particular file because then I might think yeah, it's specific to this file. Um, I don't want to get confused about that later. So um, that's good. Don't need that. Don't need that. Don't need that. Okay. Add rest macro server. All right, now uh, I'm going to take a quick break and keep working on basically everything I discussed. Uh, where do I want to start? Let me pick a starting spot. Let's start with get calculations and how do I want to work on it? Um, let's just start by reading in these files, the bars and getting a calculation read in files 15 minute bars get rsi calculations um save output to file and Anything else just for the basic start of this? Since this is going to run based on the scanner, oh, um, read in the uh, scanner config and Uh, read in all previous bars. Um, to the time. So 
So if it's going to save this to a file... It's gonna save it to a file. I need to I'm just thinking if I change the time and everything changes. Uh I keep going back and forth. Do I really want it to auto readjust everything when I change the time or just have a fixed time and start everything from there. The second option is way easier, I think. Um, I don't think the first is that hard, but it's... So, what's going to be calling this? This is going to be called every 15 minutes. Um, I actually don't want this to read from the scanner config. So, when called from the scanner in testing mode, uh, pass in the start time, or the current time um and a variable if it's init time maybe So if it's passing in the current time, and it has all the calculations from like, say the first three 15 minute bars. Am I over complicating this? So I can just straight up do all the calculations in testing mode. Right? Like, I have all the data already. I can just do it ahead of time. Should I mock it like it? it's going to be working? Or should I just... So when it's actually working, there's no stopping or winding any of that. So if you if it misses it, it's it's fucked. Um, for prod, if it misses a 15 minute mark, uh, misses a 15 minute mark. Calculation error out done for the day, basically. Um, because you can't go backwards, basically. The only way to go backwards, and maybe I'll do this later, I believe, is to get call this for all the stocks, which wouldn't take forever. What would it, what would it take? Let's say it takes one second per stock, so it's, um, I don't know, 5,000, just for instance. Um, divided by 60, so it take 83 minutes. Is that right? I don't know. 
Okay, yeah, I don't, I, I think you're just, you're just done if it airs out. I, I don't see a way to get the pass data if it airs out during prod, and it doesn't get every single bar in order. Group daily won't help. Trades, less trade quotes, less quotes, I mean... I could use this if I really was doing RSI, but that's just for this example, and I'm actually not doing RSI, so maybe that could work, but... Um, tickers, ticker details. Wait, what, is it? what are the indicators here? Okay. Uh, yeah. Um, I'm gonna briefly look at Alpaca. I'm just curious. Data. Ugh, what is this? I just wanna see if they have, uh, something or how their 15 minute how their bar thing works i would consider moving latest bars minute aggregated historical bars for the symbols provided okay there is some pagination though right i think so This could work. Well, it's only returns. No, actually, I don't think that does work. But this might work. This has imagination. I don't know. I, I don't. I'll look into it later, but I don't think. Uh, Maybe look into other APIs, Alpaca, etc. We'll see. I'm going to look at that later. I don't think it's ever going to be a problem. Um, this timer, I mean, it's going to run on a uh, Windows task scheduler, so I don't see that ever not running. And then uh, as long as all the bugs have been worked out from what I'm doing, and then, yeah. It should get the calculations and save them. Uh, in prod, it just saves, appends to file the latest at every interval using all previous data so read then write basically um in test man it's so much easier i'm just wondering in test should i mock this out because to be honest, if I don't have to do that, it's super easy. Um, I think what I'll do is I will in test. Uh, I have to go um, take care of something. I'll be back shortly, but um, I mean, I'll just finish saying what I was saying. So in test, I think I am going to just pre-get all the calculations for that day. Um, and then just whatever... It'll be similar to the, uh, what is it, the rest. Like, it'll just say, okay, at this timestamp, pull the uh, the one that's the most recent. And then, um, and then, but then after I get that working um, and test it, I'm going to come back, uh, do, or uh, test this out. Um, in example or something. I don't know. Basically, I'm just trying to say uh, I will test this out. Obviously, the prod way um, on testing as well. But I want to get this working first and move on. Um, yeah.
So yeah, this actually is not going to run every 15 minutes. Or it will... Yeah, it can be called. Yeah, passing a time. And this init time no longer matters. Okay. All right, I think that's the plan. Um, like the rest server. Okay. That's the plan. Uh, I'll be back shortly. Um, I have to take care of something. Thanks for watching.